Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about the upper layers of the OSI model. That's the upper three layers, five, six, and seven. Network engineers don't typically work directly with those upper three layers of the OSI model. They're more relevant to application developers, but we still need to know what they do. And for the exam, we need to know the definitions of each of the layers as well. It's quite likely that you'll be tested on that. So in this lecture, that's primarily what I'm going to be doing is giving you the Cisco definitions so you'll be ready for the exam. Information included in the upper layers would include the message body and the subject line in an email message, for example. So let's look at the, the three top layers, starting with layer seven, the application layer. This provides network services to the applications of the end user. It differs from the other layers in that it does not provide services to any other OSI layer. The application layer establishes the availability of intended communication partners. Intended communication partners would be the host that this host is communicating with. If you remember from the lecture before when we were discussing the OSI model, you saw that straight line between two hosts at the same layer of the OSI stack. So the application where it establishes the availability of intended communication partners, that's that straight line going to the other host. It then synchronizes and establishes agreement on procedures for error recovery and control of data integrity. Data integrity means checking that data has not been altered or corrupted in transit. The next layer is layer six, the presentation layer. This ensures that the information that is sent at the application layer of one system is readable by the application layer of another system. The presentation layer can translate among multiple data formats using a common format. For example, it might need to do this for computers with different encoding schemes. And the last layer of our upper layers is layer five, the session layer. This establishes, manages, and terminates sessions between two communicating hosts. The session layer also synchronizes dialogue between the presentation layer of the two hosts and manages their data exchange. For example, we might have web servers which have got many users that are using that web server. So in that case, we would have multiple incoming sessions. The session layer keeps track of all of those. It also offers efficient data transfer, class of service, which is similar to efficient data transfer, and exception reporting of upper layer problems. Okay, so that's the definitions of the upper layers. We'll go into the definitions of the bottom four layers in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.